Okay, so let's see what to do first. Yeah, that's the D1 armor. So I'm using that, and I can equip normal armor. So we are eventually going to do some EVS backtracking, which is why this video is so short. Because it was pushing 30 minutes before I started cutting the fights, and uh, yeah, the fights are that long. Uh, so obviously one of the uh, later dungeons I spent time in. And we do not really care about you guys. Okay, so what are we doing over here? See you. Huh? Okay, yeah, we can see you first. And a special weapon. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, one thing at a time, of course. A nice piece of equipment, sure enough. Uh, wait, is it? Uh, well, no, uh, just um, hold that thought. I, I might be mistaken. Yeah, because you can't get all the assailant addresses until you defeat an optional boss, which I will not do in the course of the normal playthrough. I will do it sort of post game. I'll upload that as a sort of epilogue <laughs> thing. Uh, but yeah, what I came down here for was that segment address and that piece of equipment. So, now off to the EBS point. That thing to deal with. Right, okay, so now I have Xion's strongest weapon. That was kind of easy as well. Of course, I, I'll i just start by selling um, Jin's swords like that, and there we go. That is a boost and a half. So now we sell that, which I believe I just bought. Oh well, and that's how it goes. Okay, so what to do next? Yeah, that is Cosmos' normal armor, which he should be wearing. Uh -huh, so I am 38 and a half hours in, and it has been. Oh, maybe 39 hours. Okay. Well, anyway, to the Durandal and um, finding a certain white, annoying little dog. ran away from us at such a dog-like speed and uh, apparently we knew he was headed for the park 
I'm going to follow him to the park. Behold my mad editing skills. Um, out of the party a little. And what do we have Junior as the lead here? I mean, it, it is his dog, for Pete's sake. Oh, more funny guys. And um, what is that? One minute and then. Um, Received. Oh, hello. Yeah, there you were. And he exclamation marks at me all the time. Exclamation mark to you too. Exclamation mark to you yet again, little um, doggy. What a species you are. Hmm. I wonder, is that the same breed as the dog Ian Sauer or Siggy bought for his son in episode 1? Okay, so the um, heavy store did not appear in the list of accessories. And, uh, well, that is because we need to go down to that crazy robot down in the uh, hangar. We'll then, um, well, unlock it for us, pretty much. Um, yeah, because I want the character at the top of the list as the um, lead character. Oh, right, yeah, how's you um, check in with the uh, quest giver? Okay, so now I have the Moon Bridge, and that is Momo's strongest weapon. Well, actually, I'm going to pick up another bow for Momo in the neck. Well, on the way through Milsha. Ah, uh, Mictum, sorry. Uh, but that will, of course, not be as strong as this weapon. And yeah, we just went and uh, followed a dog and received a ridiculous, a ridiculously strong weapon for Momo. Logic! Oh yeah, oh yeah, we do logic. Maybe not in this parallel universe though. No. <laughs> Okay, so about that accessory. So I can't do this yet. Oh well. Back to the EVS point we go. Um, I'm going to hold off on that uh, weapon thing. Well, they are talking, of course, about a mobile weapon, not just <laughs> the Final Fantasy VII idea of a weapon. So yeah, it is the yes fight. One which you could do in, in, in the post game as well. Of course you can do it before and I will do so before. Uh, but if you if you hold off on that fight, that will be um, the final yes fight in the game. What will be this time though? Okay, so about that stone that Bartender Droid gave us. 
I'm going to go take care of that right now. So, our clues were that it resonated with Abel's Ark, and how that robot knew that is anyone's guess, but that is what it is. So, we need to make our way to those orbs. Uh, oh, right, I... Oh, well, yeah, we need to make our way to the four orbs around the core. And that's me being good at <laughs> editing again. Yeah, I edit out fights here as well. Saves time. Very much time saved. <laughs> yeah, very much time is saved doing this. Uh -huh. Yes, of course, are another butter as I if I didn't show you that before. Okay, so... Oh wait, this is not the right direction. Right, I'll just go down the uh, other trouser leg over here. Now, about those master skills, I believe you can learn both master skills. I don't actually remember if I ever do that in the process of this playthrough, but I'm pretty sure that's possible. So, learning one does not um, mean you will not be able to learn the other. But one thing at a time.
Okay, are we there yet? Okay, so why don't we start? Oh, right, just missing. Okay, so we start with the blue warp. Okay, so now that we've been here, I I think that they actually just reveal all the available uh, walk mesh for you, even if you haven't like stepped on all of them before. But either way, let's come on, come on. Oh well, whatever. Punch you in the face. Okay. And on we go. It's good. Uh, it's more. The scrap. Yeah, okay, time to wrap this up and uh, continue in the next video.